so we're going to be doing a playthrough of uh, The Outer Worlds. God, this game looks Why really good, so I'm super excited. Prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term, <coughs> you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> This really does look just like Fallout. Oh my god. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Um, <clears throat> Let's see. Strength. We're going to put that up. Um, perception. Handguns. Long guns. Heavy. Stu perception. Well, Stu intelligence crit sounds really good. All right, charm. We'll just do one in each of these. All right. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Stu ranged and melee. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Block, persuade. Um, do this one. I hope you know how to cook with mostly inorganic material. We'll go mail. Let's mess with our face a little bit. Let's go with this one, but we need to change the skin color. Oh, wow. Let's go like a... Okay, here we go. Brown eyes, where you at? There we go. Don't mess with all this. Mess with the hair a little bit. Have just black. There we go. I got bushy eyebrows. Not a unibrow, just bushy. There we go. Got a nice little beard going. Nice little scruff. Let's go with. Black hair, there we go. Let's not putting any makeup on. Be a little dirty. <coughs> ah, this guy's old. Let's go young. Uh, what's your name? Zake. Next. All right, let's do this. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Please 
Not likely, bootlickers. Initiate skip jump. Terra 2. Stanley hit us. Structural integrity down 25%. Our levels down to 90%. Skip drive is What's up, brother? <clears throat> ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Bye. Okay, that guy's kind of funny. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing oh, Look, I'm going through space. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. A well, little bit of a rough landing there. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. That's funny. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I can't believe we just landed on that guy. Gotta sneak through this grass, I guess. We don't have a weapon yet. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. What was that?
Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. <clears throat> uh, sure, I'll patch him up. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. That's... Gibbering, <clears throat> flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Explody. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. All right. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. Okay. Thanks for your gun, though. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from the blood after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. Alright. and picking locks, your hacking lock pick skills, plays, skills I know. Alright. I need two more of those in bags. I got another saber. Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna try to sneak up on this guy. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. What's up, girl? Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. 
you out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. Oh my gosh. You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's on this ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of space. Hello. Please be informed that I am <laughs> authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. She does not look happy. So will result in your immediate destruction. Jefferson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Preparing to eject all born parties in five. No, wait, I was just kidding. Three, two, one. Oh man, I could be sarcastic. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Nice. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement <laughs> falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. So I just gotta I go take still the then? liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Captain Hearthorn of the Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. The navigation console is offline at this time, Captain. All right. Ten points. We'll go here. Here. Increase our dialogue, definitely. That could, lets us get away with a lot of stuff. Oh, I don't really need leadership. We'll go more ranged. All right, cool. Apply that. All right, perks. 
You've grown healthier with, uh, you've grown healthier in your time outside of stasis. Fifty percent base health. Base health. Let's go with that. Apply. All right. So we got to go find a new thing. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Do you take down payments and wanton violence? Let's lie. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Nice. I just lied and got away with it. I love it. And we're here. Our first city. The one thing I love about games like this is watching yourself grow oh. over time. Edgewater discovered. Nice little 600 XP, baby. It's a nice little town you got here. Saltuna. That guy told me to go there. Ooh, that's stealing. Let's not do that right now. I don't want to deal with the repercussions right now. They call them the grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. 
Uniform, what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh honorable apparel of a loyal worker. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. It's been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Nice. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Hmm. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Wow, I don't know. Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I am so scared of this ways guy. with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Let's roll. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Companions. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Why are everybody so scared of this dude? Hey, mister, can we talk? Sure. Sorry. You, sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Oh, uh, let's see. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. 
I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. It's just an idea. That's all. You are very scared of people. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Alright. Let's roll, girl. Can't steal that stuff. Let's see. Right over here. Wait. Actually, that's not where I need to go. I need to go over here real quick. Let's go check this guy out and see what he has to say about us cutting the power. I've always felt weird in here. It's too. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Probably that one. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you Assuming advise? your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. I like it. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Cool. Thank you, sir. Let's go knock this out. So we gotta find it. See what mission are we working on? It's training in the All right, it comes with power. Let's go find these guys and deliver the message and see what we're going to do. Here we go. Nice one. Oh my gosh. Did I attract you guys? Okay, we 
craft some of that stuff. Alright, what was this? Canon Vecker. Spacer's Choice Ethological Assigned to Terra 2. This week I've decided to study Petrari mating habits. The female Petrares leave their nesting area in the morning and return to the afternoon with random objects, typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with these objects and perform what they can only describe as a dance for an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of their nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things and meet me at the next site. And don't be late. I'm expecting punctuality from my assistants. Alright. We learned how they mate. By dancing for each other. I want a different weapon, honestly. As much as I love this little pistol. Is there stuff in here? I think there's stuff in here. There we go. Energy cells. Take all that. Cool. Well, can't get out that way. Oh, there's something up here. Puffers. Okay. Ooh, I have the parts to open this. Let's open it. Okay, we leveled up. Item repair. Do I need to repair this? Okay, we got 10 more points. Let's spend two here. A couple here. Dialogue. It's really helped me out. Let's get these a 20. Let's take a few off of this. Okay, let's go here, here. Here, here a few times. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Why? Nice. Alright, we'll head over to this area. Looks like there's some loot down here too and some more marauders. Uh, we'll deal with them later. Let's keep moving. This little city right here. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. What are yours today? Nice little pistol. <laughs> Botanical. Move lab. along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Uh, whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. You want to try standing outside in the heat, keeping your sights open for the next Marauder raid? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. I just heard she just like changed. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Could do without the gallows humor. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. 
I'll tell you what I can. All right. What is it? Calm down. I want the gun she had, though. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. God, they're trying to make me feel bad already. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I don't much like you throwing that in her face. Get me on your side. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. So everybody's selfish as hell, in my opinion. You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Alrighty, well now I feel bad. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And that's when you play any any money mo. Ooh, I don't want to steal shit. Anymore. I don't want to steal anything. Just want to go divert some power. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Keep your wits about you, friend. Okay, let's go figure out where this power plant is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And 
just because of that, your town might get shut down. Seriously? That almost killed me. I almost got stuck there. And that does about no damage to that thing. That's the last of them. Okay. Let's try the trip blade. Playing baseball with these things. Let's do it. Okay. The, the second I don't upgrade my melee, we need it. I love it. Uh, do, can I actually put armor on? Oh, I can. Okay, let's see here. Where it is. See what is my melee weapon at right now? 44, 73 DPS. 73. What is this one at? 54. These things are better. Another light pistol. I think all the light pistols are the same DPS. Oh no, they're not. Seen that. Oh, that's my, that's my weapon. I thought that was like an invisible. You guys didn't see that. That never happened. I hope we're doing the right thing. What is the right thing to do? Did I do it? Three switches. That'll be easy enough. I got a bunch of heavy ammo, but no heavy weapon. Oh, I need a password. Wait, I have a password. The guy gave it to me. So now I can repair, not repair, but throw on some new armor. Processing. Incoming. <laughs> it 
Was that guy, did that guy kill that robot? Is there robot warfare going on in here? Heads down. Shh. Dead people over here and stuff? You're getting wrecked out here. Control armor, that's probably really good. Let's see. It's like the worst armor. Okay. Go away, Phantom. A lot of robots. Happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the veil? You're not real. You're not real. Wait. You're liable to get scalded. That's the last of them. Okay, that was fairly easy. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? I quit. Quit making the decision harder. Can't quite get it. Get on She's down. I can give them better armor. That might actually work. How do I give them better armor? Just throw you a, throw you one of these. There you go. Can I level her up too? I can't. Oh, I can. Okay, here's the next power switch. The last. I'm not sure what the vibe is. All I know is the decision's final. We get to the next area. Oh, 
know, that's all of them. It's decision time. We did it. It's decision making time. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. I was barely listening really? to you. I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh, all right. We're going to send it to Edgewater. Spoke. Now we gotta go commit. No, I feel bad, but I had to do what I had to do. I convince them to come home or they're gonna shoot me on sight one or the other the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock. So they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it?
You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Oh, you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. You couldn't have told me that before? You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. What? Okay. I'm glad I shut your power down. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. So what's what's the mission now? Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, <laughs> Miss Parvati. <laughs> hey, you're uh, what? Um, how, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Uh, hello. Are you a? Uh... Uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Well, what I meant was you're reasonably well-armed and don't look stricken with plague. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I'll take all the help I can get. Yeah. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Would you? I'd be grateful. 
I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. All right, let's talk to this guy. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. Okay. I can get those two to come back if I do their side missions. Alright. So this seems like a good stopping place for now. We'll come back and either uh, decide if we'll remove the guy from power. But I don't like the fact that she's like using bodies or whatever. So thank you for watching this episode. We'll That's all, folks.